Welcome back. Thank you so much for checking out my much delayed uh, YouTube video. It's been a little bit of a break because I was working so hard, you know. I just totally was lazy and took me way too long to get back into it. But I'm coming back with a Titan build, my favorite class, on my favorite subclass, the Sentinel. But I'm running a tree that I don't see often in PvP. So this is really exciting to do because I got really good results. I think it's a lot of fun. It changes a little bit of the way that you play, including using weapons you don't often see. So give it a look. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. And enjoy. All right, so here's the beginning of this build. This is what I like to call the Polar Ice Cap Defender build. We're going to use the Code of Commander Middle Tree Sentinel, which gets the massive Banner Shield as a protection for your teammates. Also gives them bonus DPS. So it creates a defensive wall and allies who shoot through the wall have increased weapon damage and guarding allies makes the shield last longer. One of the keys to this is actually the melee. So you strike an enemy with this melee ability and you cause a void explosion. What happens is you actually regain health as well as grenade and melee energy when your void detonators explode. So you're going to hit the target, attach a void detonator, hit them more, and then it's going to cause an explosion which will hurt enemies around that person and also heal you and your teammates. The cool thing is when you're blocking and run into enemies, it also has the same effect. With the subclass taken care of, we move on to weapons. Cold front is what we're gonna use. I don't think there's any disagreement that for a primary weapon with an icy build, cold front's gonna be the way to go. It's a 750 RPM SMG, not the strongest archetype SMG. So that has to be helped a little bit with kill clip. If I can get kill clip procced, it does become pretty nice. Pulse monitor is a very powerful perk now. The only problem is they don't work in tandem. So if it does automatically reload due to pulse monitor after you get a kill, you don't actually get kill clip procced. In a way, it kind of nullifies the use of pulse monitor. But as a compulsive reloader anyways, I don't usually find any problems with it. In the secondary slot for special ammo, we have Cold Heart. This was a year one, actually launch day, Destiny 2 exotic. It came free with the pre-order of Destiny 2 and was the you must have insert weapon here for the Leviathan raid which as we all know is something that we should try and stay away from anyways to help widen our variety of weapons that we like to use in certain activities. But for a decent amount of time, it was cold heart or bust. Since then, you don't see this often in PVE or in PVP. When I do run into a fellow cold heart user in PVP, it's almost like I wanna hug them. Yay! <laughs> Part of the reason is it doesn't really benefit from any of its perks in PvP. The laser does exponentially more damage the longer it remains on a target. Now this means that target has to be somewhat static or you just have to be insane with your tracking. So keyboard and mouse, this actually might work a lot better, but as a controller player, I struggle a lot actually keeping that laser beam on a moving guardian. In the heavy slot, I just put Braytech Osprey because Braytech's like cold, right? And ice on Mars? Eh, stretch. Whatever, it's all I could find. Cluster bomb rockets are still great in PvP. People tend to shy away from it with the LMG, Meta, Xenophage, a lot of other better exotics to use for PvP, but we'll give it a go. Ursa Furiosa is the staple of this loadout. You kind of need it for it to work the way I want it to. Ursine Guard is the perk, and you move faster while guarding when Sentinel Shield is active. Guarded damage converts to super energy when the super ends. This was so freaking powerful when it first came out. You would see videos of people keeping their super up almost the entire match. Since the nerf, I feel like no one really runs it anymore. You still get a decent amount of super back and moving faster while guarding does kind of help in certain scenarios, especially in control. One of my thoughts is whenever there is a nerf to a weapon or an exotic in Destiny, people tend to just chuck it out. Oh, it was nerfed, it's no good anymore. Ursa's not that way. It is still a very useful exotic, and as you can see in the gameplay, I get my super back a lot, and it's pretty powerful. 
I do have 10 intellect. This is key, okay? In order to be able to get that super so often, having that super ability cooldown of three minutes and 48 seconds means that no matter what, you're gonna get at least two in a match, unless you get mercied. <laughs> Nervous laugh. Looking over my skills, it actually looks like I could get a nine recovery along with a hundred intellect, but I am not a min-maxer at heart. I like to see what the everyman could do that doesn't actually have a plethora of prisms or shards because I don't have them. There you go. Let's see how it plays out in some Crucible. I need to start out with a bang, so I just literally block a Thunder Crash like it's no big deal. You can watch here as I take these sniper shots in Cold Heart. I do keep it on just long enough to get that damage buff, but it really doesn't do too much in the end. It's almost an afterthought. You kind of get lucky if you hold on long enough to get that bonus damage. A Sentinel Shield pop here with a shotgun shot and a bunch of grenade damage taken, right? So I only get one kill with this super, but I am able to get to B in time to clear it off and reset it and I have over 50% super back already. And I have my super back again. This is what I like to call the bullying part of the super. While it is known to be a defensive wall, you can really push with it due to the speed that you're granted because of Ursa, and also the damage that the shield actually does to enemies when you get it on top of them. Tanking an entire blade barrage, no big deal. And then you also have the shield throw to be offensive. It's kind of the best of both worlds when it comes to defense and offense with a super. This is a little triple kill, I believe, starting with two cold hard shots and then swapping over to cold front to take care of this invisible hunter. Yay, I love invisibility. Another double kill here using kill clip. And the kill clip actually stayed up pretty long there, which was nice. People forget about rockets, but look, double kill, really easy. And also, a complete shank and miss, really easy. <laughs> Speaking of defensive, that was an unintentional block of a tether to stop it from going to B. I mean, un no, it was intentional. I totally meant to do that. I'm showing you a lot of supers because that's really the core of this build. The weapons could be interchanged and probably make a much better loadout, but tanking an entire Ward of Dawn, including using Heavy on me, and then taking them out, pretty cool. I take a lot of damage by running through the barricade, a little tip by the way, if you ever see a barricade and you have this build, run through it. And I'm at 50% back able to rip through these shields with Cold Heart and clear off A. I probably should have been taken out there. I mean, look, not everyone you play is going to be insanely good, all right? So, so you might luck out a little bit, and that's all part of the fun of, you know, PvP games. As far as I'm concerned. So a lot of weapon clips here. Not a lot of super in the past few minutes. You can kind of see how it's still strong. All right, here we go. So pop my super at seven minutes. I get a little bit of damage. I get blasted with a mountaintop, my favorite weapon for people to use when I run this loadout. Take someone else out, and I am almost at 75%, and at 5 minutes and 40 seconds, I already have my super back. That's crazy. I don't know how many supers I've shown shut down with this. I think it's about four so far. But when you think of a shut down super, it usually comes to mind Thunder Crash, Blade Barrage, Nova Bomb, etc. You don't think of the Banner Shield Middle Tree tier of Sentinel. Well. I'm trying to change that. I want this to become something where when you see someone pop a super, you go pop your middle tree and take care of business. 
actually had to mute this uh, clip here because I was watching a friend's stream and uh, they were talking. So, <laughs> uh, back up to 50% after getting a bunch of kills. When you can have a perfect middle tree super pop, it's two to three kills and getting 50% of your super back. There you see the detonators on that guardian. So not only do the detonators help because when you kill them, they explode. It also is a visual aid to being able to see the enemy. Almost like a tracker, but you know, not a wall hacking tracker. You just get this purple glow running across the screen. You know, if there's a sentinel on your team that you can hit him. If I had my super there, I could have easily challenged that and probably won. I think this is a quad kill. One with cold front, getting kill clip. And then two, three, another one. I get kill clip active. Luckily, they had to reload or I would have been dead. But hey, I'll take it. So there's four in a row. Super ends at four minutes and 14 seconds here. Super starts three minutes and 15 seconds. Okay, that's, <laughs> that's, that's under a minute, 59 seconds. And I get another super back, another mountaintop shot. I love it, bring them on, bring on the mountaintops, baby. Give me my super energy back, over 50% with three minutes to go. A minute and 50 seconds, I have another super. Tank an entire chaos reach and take them out. I'm telling you, this can be a lot of fun. A little strange here. I did take a lot of damage on the on the shield, and yet I didn't get any super energy back there. That's the first time I saw that happen. But that final match was a 37 defeats, 5.29 KD. There you have it. Ursa Furiosa, Middle Tree Sentinel, Cold Heart, Cold Front, Icy Destruction. It's pretty cool. Did not mean for that to be a pun. Oh my gosh, I need to stop. So, give it a try. Let me know what you think. Maybe different weapons could give you better results. Maybe even a different exotic you could put in and, and play with that middle tree and come up with something cool as well. Damn, I said cool again. I'm really going to have to work on this. So I'm going to end it there. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I will catch you later. I need to, I, I'm, I'm totally ready to say something else that will be a winter pun, and that's it. So stay frosty. Damn it.